Hello, my name is Joy with Two-Way Radio Center. Today I'm going to show you how to program the FIF-12 USB programming interface which came with your FIF-12 programming cable. By now you've already watched our video on how to install the programming software for your Vertex Standard 2A radio on your computer. But before you can actually use that software, you're also going to have to install your FIF-12 disk which came with your cable. What you need to do is take your FIF-12 disk and load it into the disk drive on your computer. Every computer is a bit different, so you may get a prompt on your computer screen showing you to click on the FIF-12 disk, or you may just have to go to My Computer or Programming into your D drive and maybe an F drive. Every computer is a little bit different. What I'm going to do on my computer is click on the start button, computer, and then just click on the DVD RW drive. You see here it has the disk 120203 underscore 1605. What can happen is if Vertex Standard comes up with an updated disk from when this recording is made, this file extension may appear a bit differently. So double click. And now your computer, it may take a few moments to load. What you're going to want to select now is the setup application. Your computer may say setup.exe, but now double click on the setup application and give your computer time to run. Don't rush her. Every computer is different. You may have security settings to, uh, you may have to approve the install of the software on your computer. You may have to go to your system administrator for approval to load the programming software on your computer. So just click yes. Now it's loading. Okay. And now the FIF12 driver installer install shield wizard will pop up. Just click next. And now click install. It may take a couple minutes for the software to install in your computer. Just give it time. Okay, and on this computer, a security setting popped up saying, don't install this driver software or install this driver software anyway. Well, I want to be able to program my Vertex Standard 2A radio, so I'm going to install this driver anyway. Install Shield Wizard is complete. Click on Finish. What I'm going to do next, now that I've installed the FIF-12 programming software on my computer, is I'm going to insert the FIF-12 programming cable into the computer. I want to make sure that the software is completely configured. Okay. Now I've connected the FIF-12 cable into the computer. Now I'm just going to make sure that the FIF-12 cable installed correctly. So on this computer, I'm going to hit Start, Computer, and on Computer, I just right-clicked and I'm going to select Properties. Now I'm going to select Device Manager. and wait for your computer to load. The next place you're going to look is at ports, COM, and LPT. And this step is actually very useful. Um, don't just try to dive in and install your programming software after you've you know, installed the FIF-12 settings because your COM port may be completely different and you could have issues in the Vertex standard programming software. So this is an important step. So now I'm just going to double click on the Vertex Standard FIF-12 COM4. Great, this device is working properly. Now I'm going to click on Port Settings. The bits per second speed, I'm going to change that to 38,400. Now I'm going to click on Advanced. My COM port is 4, which is fine. 
on some versions of the software, Vertex standard software, if this appears automatically on COM port 11 or 12, you may not have the option in your software to select that COM port. Um, if you ever have any issues on your, on your COM port, what I recommend is you changing that to COM3. Even if it says that the file is in use, still change it to COM3. Then click OK. Okay, do I want to continue? No, it is a scary warning. Just click yes. COM4 was a safe COM port, but COM3, like I said, if you ever have any issues programming the software, just change that over to COM3. Now, just click OK. okay. And now you're good to start programming your Vertex standard to a radio it's going to come into play on the specific radio that you have to program for Vertex standard which you'll see in our follow-up video. Please watch our follow-up video to program the VX230 software or the VX350 software or the VX450 software. If you have any questions please contact us at 2A Radio Center. Thank you for your time.